everyone. So, while I was waiting for the Amphibia finale to go live, I also finally finished watching in Aquaman King of Atlantis as the animated spin-off of the DC Comics character of the same name. And as I'm going to tell you, I have very mixed feelings towards it. At, and though it's not, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's also not something I recommend, so I might as well get this started. The, the spinoff consists of three parts, Dead Sea, Primordius, and Tidal Shift. I mean, I mean it's definitely a... a a more a very in a bizarre kind of work and even though it has some of the, some of the same same writers and artists with the emphasis on the cast were on board i will say that's at least better than that i mean i mean with aquaman or at least on somewhat more <clears throat> smoother waters than thundercats where there helps out aquaman even before the billion dollar on their movie, as well as other appearances in DCEU. You know, you know, he did have, have some sillier adaptations, so... On the other hand, and even some of those ones in Silver Age, including the infamous Superman's version, we'll be looking at that and going like, yeah, no, and how it's, some of these depictions are. I mean, yeah. it's not like this show is, this special is completely without merit, I mean... It's where the voice casting and direction are at least somewhat better, better than the Gillian Jacobs from Community as Mara. You have Cooper Andrews from The Walking Dead and as Arthur himself, and and you have uh, have among and others you have. Morgado, who was closer to Mumblebee, as the Scavenger, who is a villain I'm not inherently familiar with, but I actually looked him up on DC Wiki and it checks out. Also, cross with the Aquaman movie specifically. So, appeared pretty early on in the comics, so... And, even though it has some of the same issues with the animation as Roar did, like, the whole... Where the scale and proportion to change in between shots up in the same shot. The color palette at least looks less like like something someone got sick on the frame and and they just aired it anyway. Hey, yeah. I mean I also hope that James Wan, who who directed the movie, is working on the sequel and also has experience, was probably on board to help of Clarkson on the more glaring issues, like someone on board saying, "Like no, that looks wrong. We can show you how to help the, help you make it look right." Yeah. So I want to reiterate, I don't have anything against, hence the Castro crew, who I've never personally met. Mean, that mean, especially since this is another example of, of the current, and brand of DC just throwing anything in the wall and seeing what sticks. I mean, well, this doesn't quite stick as much as some of the other ventures, there's, which include, who like the Harley Quinn, and adult animated series, the revival of Young Justice, which I've not seen but I've heard very good things about, out and, especially in the case of one I really enjoy, like the Peacemaker series, also getting a second season, there's also talk of other spin-offs offs being made in that vein Our first choice would obviously be king shark i also wouldn't mind seeing one about rat catcher the second either yeah and as another alumnus who apparently even having another occurring role like flew the borg as the mantis main as and i also have kill michael richardson who was always good for voice work and we have have Robbie Damon and who was also in 
who is also Jesse in the Infinity Train, hey, in a much better animated series, man. He's Erica Lindbeck, uh, who has done quite a lot of anime work, so I was also alternating between this and catching One Piece backlog as well to finally finish this, man. I mean, this isn't a terrible adaptation of Aquaman by any stretch of the imagination, and, but it's also oh, not something I could see myself really recommending. I mean, I definitely do not wish to underplay that. That's, I mean, I was basically kind of, of surprised by I what I was watching for the most part and how not all the jokes land I mean for the hand and and I mean which is about part of the course, I mean I guess I'm not the biggest fan of and of the crew's humor when they have free reign and or more, uh, close to free reign because I think it helps when a lot of these guys are working at other things like with Adventure Time, OKKO okay, as also well as like the Costume Quest on Prime. They had other people who could rein them in and maybe guide them. Um, part of the collaborative efforts there. I mean, I mean, call me crazy, but I'm not really, really seeing the humor in an adaptation where the entire cast, yes, even ones that have been meant to be more mentorish, like Mera basically having the intelligence of a bull or shrimp scampi. All right. It's not to say there isn't any merit to this show. I mean, the voice acting is, for the most part, all right. And standouts, of course, Dan Snyder is the Ocean Master, who most of the most amusing parts came from him. He's always good at, good at playing these kind of obnoxious, this, this moron, on or lazy, a goof. Which is similar to how he was in Aquatic Hunger Force while Scratch and Ghost Molly McGee. He, Thomas Lennon is also pretty entertaining as Volko, and oh, since he was also on Rio 901, a show I really found amusing. So, again, they were the ones I think they found the most amusing personally, at the very least. Just while that I saw this on Acme Night, I, before the Amphibia finale really came on. It's definitely seems like like I've been holding off on doing this for a while now. I meant to do it early in the year before things kept happening. And yeah. Bottom line Fine, this isn't a terrible special to be honest, but it's also oh a bit of a cold fish, I mean totally honest. It's the kind of thing you would definitely only need to watch once, get the gist of it, and not really much more after that. So, it's not exactly how I envisioned this would go as a review, but, or the video, but, you needn't worry, just consider this a bit of a breather while I work on my spoiler reviews of of the Batman as well as my big review of Bill and Diamond Training Pearl, so that'll be all for now. Take care everyone. Mm.